Hey y'all, welcome back to Divine Lotus Tarot. I have another reading for dun dun dun. Yes, Leo, but not Leo. Stay tuned and I'll get into exactly what I mean by that. But first I want to invite you all to book a personal session of your own with me at my website, www.divinelotustarot.com. You can find the link to that website below this video in the description box. Also, if you are not following my social media accounts, you can find them under this video as well too in the description box now i do just want to make a disclaimer okay because i do invite you all to follow me on my social media accounts however if i sense any weirdo type of energy okay weirdo energy weirdo vibes like essentially what i mean by that is that there is disingenuine energy as to why you're following me okay and then you realize all of a sudden that you're not following me any anymore. That's because I have blocked you. So just so there is no confusion, I, I do want you all, you know, who have sincere, genuine interest, who, you know, are looking for guidance, confirmation, validation, or you just purely just for entertainment sakes like to watch my readings, you know what I'm saying, to follow me. I would love for that. However, like I said, if I get any type of weird energy or weird vibes from you because there's covert or secret, you know, intentions, as to why you're following me, I'm going to block you. And then if you make another account, I'm going to block that account as well too. So I just want you all to know just so we're all on the same page and, you know, each and every time it's no confusion if that is to occur to you because that means your intention is not in the right place, okay? So I just want you to know that for those of you that that may apply to. Moving forward, um, we're going to go ahead and do a reading for Leo because um, that energy came through again and I literally was just like I cannot believe this at this point I, I can't believe that the the dang energy of Leo came through again however it's Leo energy but it's not specifically for those of y'all who have Leo sun signs actually it's not it's more so for those of you who have significant placements of Leo in your birth chart and um, more so I would say even just more specifically those of you who are cancers who have um, like you're on the cusp of cancer going into the zodiac sign of leo um for those of you who have ascendant in leo um, which would be a rising sign in leo those of you who have jupiter in leo those of you who may have leo in your 12th house those of you who may have um leo in venus those of you who may have leo in hygia okay <laughs> those of you who may have leo in your second house or the sun in your second house okay so I'm going to say that one more time because I feel like either I'm speaking or this reading is for those of you who are like very highly advanced or you have a lot of significant experience with like astrology um, for these specific like placements to come out like you you would know a great deal or this is those of you who like are just very intrigued, very curious and um, you're going to go find the information out and look more into it. Um, or you, maybe you're just delving and starting to learn more about astrology. But I'm going to say that one more time. So this reading is more so focused on those of you who are on the cancer cusp going into Leo, the zodiac sign of Leo. Those of you who have Leo as your rising or your ascendant, okay? Um, those of you who have Leo as your Jupiter place uh, in, in Jupiter. Those of you who may have Leo in your 12th house. Okay, those of you who have Leo as your Venus, those of you who may have Leo in your second house or you have your sun in your second house, and then those of you who may have Hygieia as well in the zodiac sign of Leo. So that's number one. Before I even pull cards on it, because I haven't even got to the cards, like I kind of was just like getting messages as soon as I started to tap into like the specific like... <laughs> planetary and asteroid energies and whatnot and house energies that was coming through for y'all zodiac sign and i kind of just felt like this reading might be a little longer so just be prepared for that i definitely was like okay i, I probably need to give this reading a little bit more time because there's a lot coming out and then it's very specific i just feel so specific for some of you all um just with those placements coming out now i really was interested to know like why does the zodiac sign or the energy pertaining to leo keep coming out like because this is like what maybe the fifth reading um that has come out almost consecutively okay for when i go to pick which zodiac signs needs a reading and then the message essentially i got was that those of you who are leos or you have significant placements of leo um that you guys have been like under like 
heavy spiritual attack okay like you have been being spiritually attacked um and some of you are going through like i'm, I'm getting it feels like like a, a rebirth type of process so you could be going through like a transformation you could be going through a very transformative period right now you could be going through like um a dark night of the soul maybe for some of you um but yeah i just definitely get a lot of like scorpio energy around y'all as well too so it feels like maybe some of y'all have significant scorpio placements um unless you're dealing with someone who's a scorpio significantly but it, it really feels like your own energy is like there is significant scorpio energy coming up around you and, and like it's i'm getting like a death and rebirth type of energy around you all and then i'm hearing pruning right now so i feel like a lot of you are being pruned and then that was also the other message some of you are like on the brink of some type of breakthrough you're on the brink of like some type of major completion that's going to bring a breakthrough that's going to bring so much like abundance and happiness and just like it's literally like going through a dark storm and then it just being so bright and better on the other side so hopefully that gives some of you some type of like solace or like consolation for whatever you may be experiencing right now because i definitely saw like on the other side of whatever you're dealing with um mentally physically financially um spiritually you know whatever this is that you're dealing with there definitely is some type of major positive outcome that is on the other side of this like and you're, you are like literally like right there so like do not give up okay like you're you're there already it's just like it feels like energy that's just still clearing out and passing away and just maybe some last type of energy that's like like you're maybe it's just like one last thing that has that you have to do or that you have to go through or in this this process this step this cycle that you're dealing with okay um, before like I said literally there's something beautiful and amazing on the other side of this um, that's going to bring you such great fulfillment and happiness and your life will be feeling either better than just what it's felt before or maybe returning to some type of normalcy um, that will be positive for you I don't I can't guarantee that your life is going to go back exactly to what it was because in a lot of instances whatever you have been getting rid of or releasing yourself from you probably don't want that to be your normal moving forward in the future right so it's going to return to some type of normalcy but it's not going to maybe be the same normalcy what you used to do is it'll be something new and better for you so just keep that in mind as well too um some other messages that i got uh i feel like for some of you as well too yeah um it's like an energy where a lot of you may really exude very strong leo energy okay so it gives me the sense that whatever your sun sign is um which i feel like for a majority of you who this reading is for it's not going to be a exactly a, the zodiac sign of leo but you have very strong significant placements of leo in your birth chart um or leo placements that are just very significantly impacting you okay that you take on um in your birth chart but i feel like um for some of you whatever your zodiac sun sign is which i don't really feel like is the zodiac sign of leo i feel like you you still come off like a leo like you you carry that energy um i want to say like publicly or when you're around other individuals okay like you, you exude the energy of leo so maybe some people even may think that you're a leo um let's say if someone was to like guess your zodiac sign whatever um i feel like people would probably assume or guess that you're a leo you you give a lot of i'm getting a lot of that energy here like like it's very strong leo energy here that you come up, oh my goodness that you give off um i don't know if i should say what i just heard but yeah uh okay i heard false pride so some of you may come off with false pride okay which makes me feel like you're trying to come off and portray something that you don't actually believe in or that is not authentic or true to who you are. So some of you could come off more macho than what you really are in some instances. Okay. And then in the other aspect, besides how you come off in the public or how people may perceive you, okay, um, as carrying a lot of, like, strong Leo energy or Leo traits. I feel like in private, though, there is an energy that I'm getting around insecure energy, uh, um, especially when it comes to, like, y'all love and your romance life, okay? So sometimes this could even impact your finances as well, too, or, like, your money or your ability to make money. So in some instances, this is just, like, like purely, like, romantic. Like, y there could be insecurities around your love life. Um, I'm hearing around your sex life, but there could be insecurities around, like, your ability to um have healthy relationships because i feel like for some of you you do uh you do attract in individuals like you would attract in partners who have like dark qualities about them so it could be maybe something where 
it's, it's almost like you attract like those who carry the shadow side of the zodiac sign of leo is kind of what i'm feeling or just individuals who bring out like i don't feel like they bring they do bring out the shadow aspects in you but i feel like these are like shadow type of individuals working in their shadow energy that you attract or yeah i feel like you attract these individuals but i feel like maybe they come off initially one way when you meet them or you assume maybe um that they're one way and then they end up flipping the script and showing you a whole different side and then they're this whole shadow being or shadow whatever figure or some shit like that i was doing really good with not cussing oh my goodness <clears throat> forgive me so yeah so some of you end up attracting individuals who are like completely just opposite of who they portray themselves to be so they display themselves to be one way to the public and then in private they're a whole different type of person and i feel like they can pull out your shadow side as well too but i feel like these are individuals who are like shadow like like shadow twins i'm just gonna go ahead and say it. i feel like these, some of y'all keep attracting like shadow twins and this is negatively impacting the way that you look at love and romance because it kind of scares you to want to move further in love but i feel like it's because it's something about you that you need to work on or something that you are not like owning or accepting about yourself especially because the fact that we have you coming off one way in the public and then behind the scenes you're a whole different type of way so maybe i feel like if you start to look in and address some of these things within yourself then that's going to be a key indicator as to why you keep attracting these individuals in your love and romance life that have this these shadow beings okay these shadow twins that you keep attracting because there's something that you're not realizing that you're not learning that you're not owning that you're not accepting and then it's like the universe keeps bringing more of this into your life to the point where maybe some of you it's just like I feel like for some of you, you just kind of feel like you don't deserve love or that like you will never have the type of love that you want. And I feel like this is um, definitely something that you, you need to look into um, so that you can get that. Because I feel like it's possible for you too. But I do feel like there definitely is deep subconscious like um, trauma maybe for some of you um, that I'm picking up. Now, for some of you, I keep getting very strong cancer energy from you all. So like I said, you're either a cancer, excuse me, or you have some other type of significant cancer placements in your birth chart because there's a strong sense of energy around like that, that zodiac sign that he's picking up. I have some other messages. I'm trying to like stay on a cord so that I don't jump around way too much. But like I said, I feel like whoever this message is reaching, like some of you have some very strong, significant like expertise in astrology because of the messages that have been coming out now the other thing is i heard anoretic i had to google what anoretic was so when i looked up anoretic it's talking about a specific um degree when it comes to astrology and it's points that a planet um will be at from the 29th degree to um yeah in, in, in the 29th degree so if you have the anoretic position or point for any of your um, planets okay in your birth chart this is going to tell you a lot about that placement okay and I'm not going to get too much into that because first and foremost I don't want to um, I feel like I want to look more into it so I can I can feel more confident in it and I have a nice general you know knowledge of it but i don't have a very in-depth knowledge that i feel like i want to explain right here and right now plus i feel like that would be like a whole separate type of like video content that i would need to get into i feel like if i start to go into it then i feel like a short amount of time is not going to completely do it justice plus i would need to look more into it myself however i do feel like some of you may have this specific point somewhere in your birth chart which is why I keep picking up this cancer energy because um, I'm getting more the cancer energy. So this definitely could be like maybe you have some points where, um, like I said, you're either on the cancer cusp or maybe some of these uh, planets or these positions that we're talking about here. Um, maybe your maybe they um, lie somewhere with you having a planet in one of these positions at the anoretic degree but even more specifically for some of you this could be your venus okay and this would <laughs> if this is your venus you're definitely going to want to go ahead and look this up for yourself because it's going to give you a very clear indication as to why you are having challenges around love and romance for you okay but then at the same time because venus also can talk about like money as well too um 
I feel like Venus talks about the things that you love. And this could be even like how you, like your ability to make money, you know what I'm saying? Like if, you're, if, you, if you do what you love, that can pertain to like money, right? So for some of you, this even could be around like your career or maybe lack thereof. Maybe there's a sense of you're not feeling very um, like inspired in the career that you're in. Um, or maybe some of you are still trying to figure out exactly what you love and what you want to do. Um, because maybe that's some, some area of confusion around you. Um, yeah. I feel like that's maybe as far as I'm going to go on that topic. Because, like I said, I feel like that would have to be a whole separate um, video. Besides that, um, I also was picking up as well, too, when it comes to this Hygieia point for some of you. Some of you may have significant um, placements of, like, Hygieia in Leo. But if it's not that your Hygieia is specifically in Leo, I still am picking up when it comes to um, matters pertaining to, like, your health consciousness, which is what Hygieia represents. There could be sexual intimacy issues that some of you are dealing with, okay? And I feel like a lot of the root of this stems from some type of um, trauma that you have experienced. And we're going back to that trauma again, which also relates to your love life. So this is good for you to know because then you'll be able to get to the root of what the problem really is. Okay, and I feel like some of you, that's what I was going to say. And that's why I said I was trying not to jump around too much. So, just give me a moment. I'm going to backtrack a little bit to the Venus. So, when I was saying I was picking up trauma around you all getting into relationships, besides the fact that, yes, you all do attract shadow twins. You do. Um, because there is something here that you need to work on. But I also feel um, some of you could have placements of cancer in your birth chart as well too and this could have to do with the fact that um you have energy tied to your past life just put it like that there is still things from your past life or things that have been passed down from your mom um or from your mother's side of the family put it like that um that you are dealing with so this could be like even ancestral like trauma that some of you are dealing with okay especially from your maternal side okay or uh, some maternal energy in your family and I feel like some of you have inherited this. This is this almost feels like maybe it's like karmic, um, like it's karmic, like that, like you inherited inherited this subconsciously. So it could even be the fact that maybe for some of you, you have never even had like negative experiences, like when it comes to relationships. But there's just some type of inherent like deep fear that you may have um, when it comes to like letting your guard down. When it comes to trust issues, let's say, if, if you don't have a direct experience to correlate to, then, then it may be the fact that, like, you have some type of inherited subconscious trauma that comes either directly from your mom, from her mom, or just from, like, previous ancestors um, who were, like, maternal or the women in your ancestry line, okay, that you have inherited. And it's, it's almost, like, karmic in nature that you have this, like, subconscious fear and you don't, like, some of you may not even know, like, why you do certain things or why you get triggered or why whatever occurs into your life. And, and I feel like that's because of that. Now, moving forward back to this Hygieia placement with the intimacy issues, I feel this also is related to that as well, too. But this would be more so related in this lifetime in the sense that there could have been some type of connection that um, lacked with your own mother that makes you have this. Now, this is either because you never met your mom because she could have um, passed away um, prior to you having the ability to, like, really get to know her. Um, this could be the fact that Maybe your mom was never home. Maybe she worked a lot, okay? Or she was just absent for some other type of reason. Um, like, never in the home, you know what I mean? This could also just be indicate other things. Like, maybe there was, like, issues where your mom chose more of a lifestyle that was, I want to say, selfish in nature. So, whatever that would be, um, personally, to that situation. And you would know what that is. Where she just you know chose other things outside of you that were more leisure you know what I mean and then for some of you you actually had your mom present but it could have been that there was a lack of nurturing that your mom gave you either due to some reasons pertaining to maybe she just was not a, a, a nurturing type of individual right for some of you it could just be the fact that um you and your mom just don't have a close relationship you know for others of you it could just be maybe your mom was the single mom and she had to 
she had to, she chose to, or she was placed in a position where she had, she, you know, she stepped into more masculine energy, trying to essentially make up for the fact that your father was not there, which kind of caused your mother to be more in like masculine energy and not really exude, you know, a more nurturing role that maybe would have been more possible if the, if your father was present. Okay. Um, in some instances. And then for others of you, you may just have a mom who's just very like masculine. She could, it, it could just be something naturally that, you know, depending on her birth chart or her placements or how she was raised, um, that could just be what it is. Like her, sh she could just have more of a masculine nature. Okay. Um, just trait wise is what I'm saying. N not talking anything about sexuality or anything, but just I'm just talking specifically about like her her trait that she naturally exudes. Um, she could carry more of a masculine energy, um, and then therefore exude that, which would be a lack of her being very nurturing to you. So I feel like as well too when it comes to some of you, when you consider having like a relationship, you could have unfounded like fears just due to the fact that of your connection whatever that may have been with your mom or whatever what that is currently with your mom there also could just be other um sexual trauma that may be contributing to this and i say all this because it kind of leads to the fact that this is that cancerian energy again the mom is associated with like cancer energy because cancer is known to be nurturing cancer is also associated with what makes us feel safe what makes us feel secure what feels like home to us and naturally the mom would be you know consider your home because she would be your your first home like this is where you dwelt in for nine plus months or whatever but yeah so your mom is the, the first home that you have okay and i feel like if there are issues there then this is going to definitely trickle down into other areas of your personal life especially dealing with you having intimacy issues and feeling close and feeling safe and feeling secure or maybe even feeling comfortable enough in yourself to open yourself up to other individuals which is going to impact in some type of way your love and romance life okay which also could in turn impact the capacity for some of you to have a desire to have children or for any type of fears that you may have um, that even may be like subconscious fears that you're not even aware of when it comes to you being able to have children start a family of your own or even choosing a partner okay so th these are things that are like they're interesting but they're serious as well too because you know sometimes we need to dig a little bit more to get more information as to why certain things keep happening because it could be trying to tell you something okay and I do feel like for a lot of you, I do feel like maybe having a family of your own or having children could be something that is important to you. But I do feel there's also some type of fear there. And so you just want to be honest with yourself um, as to what that is. Or, or maybe just do a little bit more digging and research and take time to address these things within yourself. Because, like, you need to be able to know yourself, okay? I mean, that's just very important. I practice and preach a lot, like, on my social media account about, like, minding your business and... I say that because I, I literally mean it's important to like literally mind your business um, and get to know yourself. Like you cannot have a healthy relationship with someone else when you don't know who you are and you're the person who you have to be with at the beginning, middle, and end of the day. You're going to be the person who you're with, you know, for forever. So you might as well get to know yourself and um, find out how you work. You know what I'm saying? Because then that will only positively benefit you having healthy relationships with other people in any type of capacity um but then at the same time when you know yourself then you you're you don't allow other people to tell you who you are because you know who you are right so i feel like these are areas that some of you you know need to look a little bit more into because it's very significant and i feel like some of you do want to have families and I feel like maybe some of you have been putting this off or some of you haven't just been addressing certain things or some of you may have just been feeling some type of way as to why why things have not happened for you um, when it comes to you having children as well too. And I feel like it's just certain things um, pertaining to like your soul's lessons, your soul growth that you're, you're dealing with. Um, is what I'm just picking up as well, too. Or why you are dealing with the certain type of people that you are attracting to your life as well, too. So that's just another factor. That's just another factor. Because um, I definitely feel like whatever, whoever you've been attracting in, 
um, especially like for those of you who are males and you're dating uh, women, um, you definitely could be attracting women and that is just trying to help you heal some type of aspect of yourself that needs healing that you need to address and maybe some of you just keep avoiding it putting it off or ignoring the fact that that you need to heal this aspect of yourself it's easier to point the finger at someone else and you know just say that they're the problem but at the beginning minute middle and end of the day like you still need to get to the basis of why do you keep attracting certain people in your life or why do you keep needing to repeat this lesson over um that you haven't got like what are you missing you know because once you address that then you will no longer attract these particular type of um partners into your life these shadow twins into your life that you know bring out not positive traits within you um so there definitely could be things that some of you are needing to address still or change as well as moving forward i do see a lot of you congratulations have already been doing this work so some of you have kind of got to the root of this and some of you are actively in pursuits at this point in time of moving through that transitional phase of releasing maybe someone or several someones who you've been dealing with who have been these shadow figures shadow twins in your life and um i definitely feel like those of you who have done that work because you've addressed you know and come to the realization that you want to do something different or you know that that there is better that you can attract because you were attracting from a hurt place when you were initially uh attracting these particular type of partners into your life i feel like like i said you have great things on the horizon like very soon in the near future that you can look forward to you just have to just kind of see it through to the end and push through and and keep going because of, like you're literally like there like you're you're there okay so I just feel like it's karmic in nature. A lot of the things you've been dealing with has just been karmic and it's been um, not just things that you are dealing with that pertain to yourself. I feel like this just dates back to like even ancestral karma that some of you are dealing with. So if it feels so heavy, if it feels so tough, if it feels so stressful, if it feels such like a burden, then that's definitely why. Like it's not just your karma that you're dealing with from this lifetime. You're carrying the wounds of, you know, several ancestors and, and generations on your back essentially okay now moving forward because i feel we kind of got all heavy with that but like i said this reading i just knew it was going to be a little different um because of the placements that came up like i said um plus like i said i strongly feel like a lot of you have scorpio placements as well too so that, that's the intensity there as well the boop. all right now moving on uh, hopefully we can lighten the energy a little bit talk about some great things coming through because i do see for some of you that i do see a soulmate energy here that some of you keep trying to like deny as a soulmate and i feel like you know this person is a soulmate it's like outwardly you try to come off like you don't know who this person is but you know who this person is and you know why i know who you know who this person is because you have had a dream about this person i'm gonna just bust y'all out you've had a dream about this person yes yes and i even feel like maybe in some instances this person may have had a dream about you so i would strongly advise those of you where you've had a dream about someone or you keep having some type of reoccurring dream about a speci specific someone who you think could be your soul soulmate and when i say soulmate i mean we have several soulmates but i mean like a soulmate who is like what do i want to call this there's so many different types of soulmates but this would be a true romantic let's just call it a true romantic soulmate okay someone who is going to bring out the best in you and you're going to bring out the best in them not this karmic shadow twin shadow figure energy or energies that you've been dealing with before so i feel like yeah you have a true romantic soulmate here um and i would advise some of you to if you don't already Keep a dream journal, okay? And that way, when you and this person come into contact, it would be interesting for you to see, like, if the two of you were dreaming about each other at the same time. I just think that would be so cool and that would be so dope. And if you guys want to share that with me, I would love to hear that because that just sounds exciting. <laughs> that sounds exciting. Like, I just would want to know, like, oh my goodness, did you two dream about each other and, like, on the same dates, okay? That would be interesting. But I definitely feel like maybe some of y'all have definitely dreamt about this person. And they may have definitely dreamt about you as well, too. So that's how I know that this person is your soulmate. And you know this already as well, too. But I just feel like as well, too, there's some type of apprehension um, about you, like, continuing wanting, like, to see, like, signs or continuing wanting something to be proven to you as well, too, um, is what I get. Um, and I feel like that stems from those, those insecurities pertaining to, like, just not feeling safe and secure because of previous relationships and just also a sense of not feeling like that you're you, you're adequate that you're enough that you're lovable you know what i'm saying and i feel like you are okay 
Okay, and then all of a sudden I just started channeling Michael Jackson's song, Beat It. So that might be significant for some of you all, or maybe pertaining to something that you all are dealing with, okay? And then, um, yeah. The next message I have was, there's a situation, maybe some of you are getting blamed for something that, like, you didn't do, and I feel like it's an instance where maybe some of you are, like, acknowledging, or it's either you're acknowledging or you're, you're being put in a position where you are taking, like, responsibility for, like, things that you've done in the past, but it's like, but this time you didn't do something, is what I'm picking up as well, too. So you could be getting, you could be being blamed for something that you did not actually do, which in turn is making you just kind of like take responsibility for, for like past actions that you've done, like maybe where you, when you were in the wrong, or maybe it's a situation where you're like, well, just because you have done things in the wrong in the past, you didn't do this. So for some of you, it has to do with the fact that you have already changed. And maybe people keep trying to, like, associate you with some type of past traits or characteristics or maybe even some type of, like, past experience that you've done. And, you, and some of you, you know, have to keep standing on the fact that, like, okay, well, that's not who you are now. And then for others of you, you could be involved in a current situation right now where you're getting blamed for something, but it's not something that you actually did. However, it's making you take accountability because it could be things in the past that maybe, like, you never felt remorse or felt a sense of um just being truly genuinely um like like that maybe you didn't apologize for or that you just never truly from conscious wise like had a sense of feeling like it was wrong so I feel like maybe some of you are in a position where you're kind of dealing with like your consciousness like it's like you're tapping more into your consciousness or you're connecting more to your consciousness maybe before you were just kind of like detached from the things that you would do and the repercussions that would come from them maybe because you never had to deal with you know consequences before or maybe it's because you truly just were in a phase where you didn't care and there could just be changes now all of a sudden where like I said some of you may be going through that ego death where it's like maybe your ego your pride was getting the best of you before in situations and you just didn't care the ramifications or the consequences of whatever your actions were but now it's a position where you're actually like getting maybe punished for something that you didn't do but it's kind of making you rethink and relive previous things whether you got reprimanded for them or not but just realizing like that you kind of actually feel like remorse for doing those things like you actually feel like ashamed or guilty okay in a sense like I kind of feel like some of you are just kind of being put into situations where you're having to deal with looking at previous things that you've done and really just being able to see your sense of growth and maturity in one aspect is how you could look at it um, because you no longer think like how you were um, this took me to a bible verse it is 1 Corinthians 13 verse 11 and I was hearing it but I don't have a lot of the bible verses like memorized um like the titles of them i just know like like i know i can quote like bits and pieces or like paraphrase them so essentially it says when i was a child i spoke as a child i understood as a child i thought as a child but when i became a man i put away childish childish things and i feel like a lot of you may be going through this um this energy right here some of you are essentially stepping into manhood like regardless what your age is I don't feel like it has anything to do with you know how when um well for, I would say in the United States which is where I'm based at but that it might be different in other countries okay but when you're 18 you are considered an adult okay or you have more leeway to do things um and you're considered you know mature in that sense of being able to do certain things and I feel like maturity growth being an adult is a mindset and it also you know takes experience 
and it also considers maybe how you were raised i mean there's a lot that goes into like what will put you into the mindset of being an adult and like really embodying that like consciously i'm not just talking about okay like you turn 18 and now it's like okay well now you can buy liquor or now you can smoke or now you can vote I'm, I'm talking about just more than that like when you truly step into a sense of like being responsible and it matters to you and then you're you're more conscious of the decisions you make you're more conscious of you know we just wanting to be a better person in general and i feel like maybe for some of you whatever your age is okay maybe some of you are just now for the first time really stepping into an energy of actually feeling a sense of like stepping into an energy of being an adult and there's nothing wrong with that like like i said regardless of your age um i don't feel like you should feel like inadequate or ashamed about that because i just feel that is going to be at a different level for everyone like we all don't just become adults all of a sudden because we are 18 like you know like I said, it's just a whole bunch of different factors that will attribute to your sense of truly, like, being an adult, like, mind, body, and soul. Like, you're, you, you may have to step into that experience, but your soul or your spirit or your mind may not be, like, maturity-wise at that same point. You get what I mean? And I feel like maybe for some of you, like, mind, body, and soul, like, maybe for the first time, you're coming into some type of alignment where you're actually, like, feeling like a man, okay? Or you're wanting to step into this position of, like feeling like okay it's time for you to grow up and like put the things behind you that have been maybe at one point in time you know something that you enjoy doing but now like it's like when you're looking at them now it's kind of like yeah that's that's childish you know like you you want to grow and mature and step into the next phase like responsibility and accountability wise from a very like aware conscious mindfulness state now is what i'm picking up and that's beautiful um so congratulations for you all. Like I said, re regardless of whatever age point you're at, you should not feel guilty about that um, because I feel like certain different experiences will bring out certain different things at certain different times in individuals. And that's another reason why it's important to mind your business because you can't compare yourself to someone else's. Your success or your life experiences at 26 could be completely different to someone who is 56. You get what I'm saying? And that's not a good or a bad thing. It's just it just it's the reality of, of the situation, just given the fact of what someone has to deal with, what someone has to experience, what someone was predisposed to. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to get into the cards because I don't want to make this too, 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 too long. And I'm already at like 47 minutes and I haven't even gotten to the cards yet. I've just been like really channeling messages for y'all. It's been a lot coming through. But it seems like, like I said, I mean, uh, like y'all have been under attack, so I won't keep complaining moving forward now. Now that I know, like, okay, I guess, I guess it had to take me five videos before I actually asked that particular question. Like, okay, well, why? <laughs> why? Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the cards and get a few messages before we wrap this up. So it looks like messages pertaining to love wants to come out for you all. So the first card we have is the two of wands. This high priestess wanted to pop out. Um... And then we got the lover's card. So what I feel like is for some of you, you're going to get, a, depending on the choice that you make, okay? Because some of you have already made this choice. Some of you are still like in a decision phase. Depending on the choice that you make, you all will have the option and the opportunity presented for you to have a second chance. I'm hearing in life and second chance in love for some of you. Um, I'm going to focus on the love aspect more so though. So I feel like there's a major decision that you need to, t to take, okay? For those of you who have not made the decision already, you're being given the opportunity that you can make a significant turnaround in your life, but it's really up to you. Now, moving forward when it comes to love and romance, I do feel like um, if you do choose to just move forward and consciously make better decisions about the partners that you are attracting into you, okay, um, I do feel like the love interest that you're going to attract in, like I said, is going to be your actual true romantic soulmate. And I feel like this person is definitely going to bring out different aspects in you than you've ever tapped into before. I feel like this person is going to bring like like hidden things out in you. They're going to help you unlock certain things about yourself that you d would never have the option or the opportunity to unlock within yourself. Um, being with the the previous type of like 
um, shadow twins that you've been with because they're meant to keep you at a certain like essentially low vibration so i feel like you coming into contact for those of you who decide to make a conscious effort to move forward and make wiser and better decisions you will have the opportunity to come into contact with this higher level true romantic soulmate but this person is still going to challenge you um but to be a best version of yourself they're going to bring out like i said different aspects about you um qualities traits things about you help you to learn things about yourself that you did not know um i also feel like um between you and this individual there's going to be a very strong significant like um telepathic bond between the two of you which is like i like why i said if you have dreamed about this person then this person most likely has dreamed about you as well too um let's see i also got the number two 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 showing up in this reading so we got the two of wands the high priestess and the lover's energy so i'm getting the energy of two 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 so that might be significant for you all um that you might want to look into and then I'm also getting the number 22. So 222 two, two might be significant for some of you. 22 might be significant <laughs> for some of you. I feel like a lot of you may be seeing or you will start seeing a lot of synchronicity signs um, to just continue to give you confirmation that you're looking for. Whatever this is that you all have wished for um, is what I, I feel like some of you have put some type of wish out. And I feel like you're going to be able to see a direct correlation with that wish by seeing a lot of synchronicities or different signs, symbols, things coming to you. Okay, so just pay attention to that. And then all you need to just essentially do is just like, I mean, if you want to, you can give thanks. I would give thanks. I mean, because that's just me. But if it was it, for, for you, you can do whatever you want to. Just acknowledge it. I just feel like that is your confirmation to let you know like that things are on the right track. Things are moving in the direction that is going to bring you your desired wish. Um, but yeah, the energy, I'm um, seeing the synchronicity come up now of 444, so that might be relevant for y'all as well too. Um, and for those of you, I guess I would say if you haven't made a wish, then now would be the perfect time to do that. So make a wish now, whatever you want, whatever your heart's the true desire is, I would say definitely go ahead and make a wish now because you have the ability to have something granted for you that you ask for so really get clear and ask like what is truly on your heart like what like what do you really want what do you really desire because i feel like the universe wants to help you make it come true okay you just want to say this as well too some of you strongly and deeply desire love okay and there is nothing wrong with that like there's nothing wrong with wanting true sincere genuine love however i feel like you also just need to be aware that when you put that out to the universe that you want that you need to be able to match that type of energy so you're going to need to be the best version of yourself not saying that you have to be completely like like a st at a state of perfection but you have to at least be making like strong sincere intentional steps towards becoming the best version of yourself so that you can maintain the type of connection that is being brought towards you because i'm telling you this is a, a different type of connection than what i'm seeing your energy has been attracting in previous so it's not going to be a situation that you need to fear it might be like maybe scary at first because it's not what you may be used to it's not what you have attracted before but i definitely feel like once you allow yourself to believe that like you do desire like a love where all the traits and characteristics and partners that have made you feel like a lack and a sense of insecurity maybe those of you where you've just been taken advantage of those of you where you've been cheated on those of you where you've been lied to you know what i'm saying like whatever the traits are it's like you have to realize that there are partners out there who have the capacity to do this and that whatever you have done in previous relationships if you know that you're beyond that now now it's time to step up and acknowledge that you're ready to receive better and it's okay for you to want better for yourself like you shouldn't hold that against yourself or beat yourself up um from wanting what your heart truly wants like you should al actually allow yourself to just imagine like what it would be like to have the type of partner that you want and release that resistance so that it can come into you because i'm truly seeing like this wish is going to be granted for you you just have to get in alignment and just essentially put the wish out there and claim it you know what i'm saying like you just got to pray for it claim it and then be ready to receive it and not try to worry about how it's going to come about but just trust them and believe like the universe wants to get us you god wants to give this to you you know what i'm saying like like you, it's okay for you to be happy it's okay for you to be loved like even if you've never been loved before even if you never had love from anyone in your life before like that doesn't make you 
not lovable even if you have done things in your past that you're not proud of but once you get to that point where you have taken it to god you know what i'm saying and you want to be moved forward from that and step into a new energy it's like you you have the right to have a second chance at life you have the right to move forward and become a better version of yourself because like people change people grow people learn people evolve people mature you know what i'm saying like some people actually do and sometimes it takes a specific situation to for people to actually have a breakthrough and you don't have to feel like it's like over for you you know just because you've made some mistakes you know what i mean whatever the size the mistakes are I just feel like when you're when you are ready to change and you really want to put your best foot forward, like the universe will definitely be there to meet you and help to bring you for it through that. OK, and I feel like you just got to trust. You got to know you got to believe that, like you're worthy of receiving it, but also that you're worthy of doing what it takes to move forward. Like, because there's still going to have to be some action on your part that you have to take. You know, you still have to take some type of responsibility and some accountability and move forward and, and put the work in. It's not going to just be handed to you or, or um, like, you're not going to just not have to do anything. And then you're also going to have to maintain it as well, too. So it's like once you get it, you still have to maintain it. Because um, anything worth having, like, you still got to put the work in for it. So just, just keep that in mind. Like, just like anything else that you tend to, okay? Like, when you love and you care about something, like, you're going to nurture it okay and so i just feel like what, whatever you're wishing for whatever you're desiring it is possible um it is possible it, it's 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 within reach like nothing is impossible so i do believe whatever it is that your heart your heart's true true desire is like you can have that you can have it it's possible it's very it's very 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 real it's very possible that being said i feel like that's all the messages Okay, I hope this was helpful for some of you. Also, I was advised to let some of y'all know. Some of y'all need a personal session, so go ahead and book one with me. But whether it's with me or not, I still feel like some of y'all need a personal session. So um, don't be afraid to like reach out. And my link is in the description box below this video. www.divinelotustail.com. Be blessed.